let's look at another beautiful end game study it's a bishop end game and uh, you see that black is ahead in material he has two passed pawns while white has only one passed pawn but uh, the important thing to note is that white's pawn is further ahead it's just two squares away from queening and black only needs to you know get rid of this pawn to at least secure a draw uh, because if if black gets rid of this pawn then white cannot win with a single bishop right so uh, here white can easily draw the game after you know d7 and then bishop e6 and then pinning the pawn and then capturing it in the next move so black can easily draw the game but white is playing for a win sorry white can easily draw the game but uh, black, uh, white is playing for a win so how do you win this position which looks as if drawish because this this bishop will go to e6 and prevent uh, queening it is now uh, white to move he cannot play he cannot play d7 because if he plays d7 then bishop e6 will secure the draw for black this pawn is pinned it cannot move so it doesn't matter what move you make let's say you go king c7 this bishop will simply capture this pawn and it's a draw white cannot win so so d7 cannot be played let's uh, look at king c7 the right move is king d7 this is the right move or king c7 also works but uh, let's let's look at what happens with king c7 king c7 then bishop e6 preventing this push then bishop a6 if you play bishop d7 then bishop f7 right and white cannot make progress he has to move the bishop again and then the bishop will again come back so king c7 bishop e6 bishop a6 trying to go to c8 and then you know rem deflect this bishop or even if black captures white captures and then queens first so bishop a6 then c4 black is threatening to promote bishop into c4 if black captures then white wins so black cannot capture here if black captures then simply d7 and white wins so bishop bishop c4 then bishop h3 and then bishop a6 again coming to c8 a4 bishop c8 a3 bishop takes bishop a2 d7 and black queens and white also queens and it comes with check but queen f6 and uh, eventually black will exchange queens and it's again a draw queen d5 king f4 queen d2 king e4 bishop g2 check king f5 queen d3 king g5 bishop e4 queen e5 king c6 king f4 and uh, white king will not be able to or white king and queen and bishop will not be able to force black into a corner and mate because this queen will always be you know harassing this king and or trying to exchange queens so uh, it's it's not possible for white to win this so king c7 does not work let's go back to the starting position so king c7 does not work let's let's see king d8 if king d8 then king f6 preventing the king from coming to e seven bishop e8 black will not exchange he will play c4 bishop into f7 king into f7 d7 and c3 king c7 c2 d8 queen c1 queen king b6 queen c3 king a6 and it's a draw white white have to, has to capture this pawn and then it's a draw so king d8 doesn't work uh, d7 if if he plays d7 then again bishop e6 king c7 bishop into d7 and it's a draw so the right move is king d7 king d7 it looks as if it is a wrong move blocking your own pawn but king d7 is the right move now because now white is threatening to come to e7 and then uh, bring the bishop here and then blockade this square and then promote so black has to prevent uh, king e7 so king e f6 if you play bishop h5 if after king d7 you play bishop h5 then king c7 
bishop g4 bishop d7 bishop h5 bishop e6 bishop e8 bishop f7 you cannot capture again because if you capture then d7 and it's white wins bishop b5 bishop d5 c4 bishop c6 bishop c6 king c6 c3 d7 c2 d8 and this comes with check king g4 queen d4 check king f3 queen d3 check and white wins so after king d7 king f uh, bishop h5 also does not work for black he has to go king f6 he cannot play bishop h5 if bishop h5 then black loses so king f6 is the move then comes king c7 now bishop e6 he has to prevent d7 previously when the king was on c7 then black had the option of playing bishop bishop e6 when the pawn was pushed but now he has to go after king c7 the king is not on c8 so black cannot pin hence black has to go king bishop e6 now bishop d7 bishop f7 bishop g4 this is a very very important move without this move white cannot win bishop e8 why bishop g4 because to prevent bishop e6 so and forcing black to go to e8 to control this square this d7 square if this bishop does not go to g4 then black always has the option of playing bishop e6 and preventing d7 so white has to go bishop g4 now the only move for black is bishop e8 to prevent d7 now bishop h5 again chasing this bishop right and now this bishop cannot go in this diagonal it has to go to this diagonal so in this study we see how this bishop is chasing this bishop and removing it from the active e8 h5 diagonal and moving it to the passive e8 a4 diagonal bishop b5 so this was the whole point behind moving this bishop and you know you know moving the black bishop from the this side of the board to this side now bishop f3 now this bishop is coming to c6 to prevent this bishop's influence on the d7 square a4 black black cannot go back to e8 because if black go ba goes back to e8 let's say black goes back to e8 then simply bishop c6 and white is winning there is no way black can control d7 anymore he has to either capture or move the bishop and d7 so after bishop f3 black cannot go back to bishop e8 so he has to make he has to make some progress on the on his past pawns a4 and now bishop c6 a3 d7 and king f5 king f5 because the next move white will queen and give a check so king f5 preventing uh, i mean after getting a move after white queens d8 queen bishop c4 uh, his only hope because if he exchanges bishop white will not take the bishop he will first give a check get rid of this pass pawn and then take the bishop so bishop c4 queen f8 check king g4 and queen f3 check gets rid of this pass pawn and white wins so let's let's go back to the starting position here it looks as if uh, king c7 is the right move even the system shows that king c7 is the right move but actually king c7 holds a draw let's let's look at the drawing line bishop e6 bishop a6 if bishop d7 then bishop f7 so bishop a6 c4 bishop takes c4 bishop h3 bishop a6 a4 bishop c8 black doesn't care about this bishop because now this pawn cannot be stopped a3 bishop takes h3 a2 d7 a1 d8 queen f6 queen d5 and it's a draw it's it's very difficult for white to win if black stays on dark squares and prevents this king from you know you know cornering this king so it's a king c7 is a draw so king d7 is the move and then king f6 and then king c7 now you go king c7 and now bishop e6 bishop d7 bishop f7 bishop g4 this is the move this move 
forces black to go to e8 and then white snatches this diagonal from this bishop bishop e8 and then bishop h5 the bishop can no longer stay in this diagonal it has to go this way bishop b5 bishop f3 now this bishop is coming to c6 a4 bishop c6 if bishop e8 then again bishop c6 so bishop f3 bishop sorry bishop f3 a4 and then bishop c6 a3 d7 king f5 d8 queen bishop c4 queen f8 king g4 and queen f3